Right now, you should be able to create content using the models, along with some of our complete anatomy tools, and be able to save that content to specific groups of photos. Any content that you create, along with thousands of other resources that are available to you, can be found in the library. The library can be accessed from the hub or from our default screen over here on the right hand side. The library is made up of five tabs, our courses tab and our Atlas tab, which we will come back to in a little bit more detail later on, and also our models tab, videos tab and radiology. The models tab consists of a number of microanatomy models, including our eye pro section model and our blood cells model. These have been designed in an effort to bridge the gap between anatomy and physiology and have been created with the Human Anatomy and Physiology Society learning outcomes in mind. Alongside our microanatomy models, we also have a gross male model divided up into regions such as the back and the head and neck. In addition to this, we also have our female pro sections, such as our female pelvis and our female thorax model. Selecting these allow you to explore these models in a little bit more detail and adjust them accordingly to add them to your lectures and courses. In our videos tab, you can find over 1,500 videos which can be added to your courses and lectures. These videos cover complex anatomical topics, surgical approaches and clinical conditions. We can filter through these videos by selecting the filter icon. If, for example, we want to focus in on cardiology and perhaps some cardiological conditions, specifically aortic abnormalities, we can then view all of the related videos. And you can also create a URL for these videos or a deep link. You can do so by selecting the three dotted icon, selecting the export icon, and then copying a link to the video. In this way, you can share these videos outside of Complete Anatomy with other educators or students, perhaps in an LMS, a learning management system or another external platform. We also have our radiology tab. Again, the radiology can be accessed in two ways. It can be accessed either via the library or via the hub, like so. The radiology feature allows users to compare contrast and correlate the complete anatomy model against various radiological modalities. It consists of a number of interactive screens which can be filtered by using the filter icon. Here we can decide the type of image that we want to look at, the region of the body, the plane and the display. If you select a screen, so in this instance we will select an MR angiogram, you can see that the screen consists of a radiological image on the left hand side and the complete anatomy model on the right hand side which has been cut and modified to show off all of the individual structures that we want to view in a little bit more detail. Up here on the left-hand side, we have some more information about the type of imagery that we are looking at. You can select a structure on the model, select a pin on the radiological image, or select the correct anatomical name for a structure. And the corresponding structures will highlight on both the model and on our radiological image. We can create a more focused screen or reduce the number of pins on the screen by using the systems option here. We can turn off the Venus pins and in this way we can expand the image and just view the angiogram on its own. Likewise, we can turn off all of the pins if, for example, you wanted to test yourself or test your students. Jumping back to our Atlas tab, the Atlas contains all of your content along with all of the 3D for Medical content, which is available to you as an institutional license holder. This includes nearly 5,000 resources made up of various screens, recordings, quizzes, and questions. The atlas can be filtered by using the filter icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. This drop down a three tiered system where we can filter by the type of resource, so screens, quizzes and questions. We can filter by the type of group, so if I wish to look at my screens 
or if I wish to look at the thousands of 3D for medical screens. And we can filter by the type of model or the region of the body. So let's look at the head. Here you can see we have thousands of 3D for medical screens available to you. These screens are verified and ready to use and very useful for educators who maybe don't have the time to make their own content from scratch. They can just modify and adapt these screens to suit their own course. So let's take a look at this screen here. If, for example, I wanted to use this screen in my own course, I can exit the view screen mode and use the tools once again to modify the screen to suit my course. We have covered the tools and how to save a screen in a previous video. So be sure to check that out if you wish to cover this in a little bit more detail. Once we have saved a screen, of course, it will once again appear in the Atlas and then we can use it in our lecture and our courses. If you wish to export some content to an LMS or an external learning platform, you can do so by selecting the three dotted icon here on the screen. If you select the copy icon, you can then create a copy link to screen. This is essentially a URL and you can create this for any of your screens, recordings, quizzes or questions and also for any of your lectures too. In this way, you can share Complete Anatomy content outside of Complete Anatomy. Finally, we have our courses tab. The courses are not only very useful for students who maybe want to explore an area in a little bit more detail, but also useful to educators who maybe want to assign a course to their students or an educator who maybe wants to take the content out of a course and apply it to their own course. It's important to note that these courses are available only in certain languages, so you should be aware of that going forward. They are also an excellent reference of how to make the most of the functionalities in Complete Anatomy when creating your own content. Again, you can filter through these courses by using the filter icon. The course that I would like to focus on today is the Undergraduate Human Anatomy course by Alan Denton. <laughs> Taught by a team of seven top anatomical experts from leading universities, this regional anatomy course in undergraduate human... This course was created by Alan Denton from Stanford University and is based off of the Human Anatomy and Physiology Society Learning Outcomes. If we select a course, you can see how it is broken up into various modules. So our first module is our overview of body systems, and this consists of eight lectures followed by the back, which consists of four lectures, and so on. If we select on a lecture, you can see that it is made up of various recordings, screens, and finally, quizzes or questions. If we select a screen, you can see how this content can also be brought into a lecture hall or brought into a presentation. Here we can turn off all of the labels or turn them back on. We also have our highlight tool, which allows you to draw students' attention towards specific areas of the model. We also have some additional information here, which gives you some more information about the type of screen that you're looking at and some of the learning outcomes of this specific screen. And we can easily navigate to the next screen by using the arrows here below. As we have reached the end of our lecture, we have a quiz. The quiz offers a number of questions followed by some optional answers. The student can then select the correct answer and submit it. Once again, the screen remains completely interactive as the students carry out the quiz. Once they have completed the quiz, the student's score can then be found in the assessment dashboard. We have discussed this in another video, so be sure to take a look at it if you want to explore that in a little bit more detail. And that's everything that you need to know about the library. You should now be able to create your own content, locate it in the Atlas, and manipulate that content to suit your own lectures and courses. We will look at how to create your own lectures and courses in one of our next videos by Exploring Curriculum Manager.